Whether you're a seasoned ETF investor or just getting started in the financial markets, I'm sure many of you get bogged down trying to decide which ETFs you should be following and more importantly, when you should be buying or selling them. My name is Tom Asprey, editor of the Viper ETF Report, and that's the advice I provide to my clients. In over 20 years, I've developed a very sophisticated method of determining which ETFs are going to be outperforming the market in the months ahead, and also the ability to determine when that trend changes. In my experience, Wall Street rarely recognizes the top performing ETFs until their performance is so good they cannot be ignored. For example, in the fall of 2017, I felt that the crude oil and energy markets would dominate in 2018 and they'd be some of the best performing sectors. It took a while, but that is the case as crude oil prices have skyrocketed and unfortunately gas prices have as well. So what can a subscriber to the Viper ETF report expect? Let's take a look. This is a sample of the typical Viper ETF report. As I mentioned before, they come out generally Mondays and Thursdays. Of course, I do release special market updates when the market gets crazy. It's been keeping me pretty busy in 2018. The report generally starts out with a couple pages of market com commentary and analysis where I highlight the short, intermediate, and long-term market trend. After each week, I review the key sector ETFs and market tracking ETFs that I follow and go through each of them on a weekly and a monthly basis. This is a sample of that report. It shows you that the SPY, Diamond Trust, QQQ, and the Russell are always covered, as are the other major sector ETFs. Then I look at where they close relative to their quarterly pivot. If you don't know about quarterly pivots, I'll be sending you this if you decide to subscribe. New subscribers will get this Viper trading lesson explaining how you can use the quarterly pivot levels for trend analysis. It gives you many examples and will show you how important it can be in determining a market's trend. For example, the QQQs, which was recommended in December of 2016, has stayed above its quarterly pivot on a Friday closing basis ever since. As a bonus every weekend, you'll also get the list of over 75 ETFs that I monitor on a continuing basis, giving their weekly close as well as their quarterly pivot levels. You can see in this particular report, those highlighted in green closed above their quarterly pivots. So that helps me target those ETFs to see if they're worth purchasing. Conversely, if a drop below their quarterly pivot, then if we're long that, it is a reason that I may want to liquidate that position. In each report, then I look at those ETFs that I'm recommending or that we already have a position. This was one that was recommended in early April, the SPDR S&P oil and gas ATF. I was looking for a breakout above this downtrend here based on the bottoming action and the relative performance and the positive on balance volume. It has done quite well over the past several months. Another ETF that I've liked, Consumer Discretionary Select, the XLY. You can see at this particular time, it came back into the panic lows we saw in early February, but the relative performance was acting very strong, indicating that it was going to lead the market higher. And this week, the unbalanced volume moved back above its moving average. That was a reason to buy. This is what our recommendation table looks like. You can see that I was recommending that both investors and traders buy a partial position in XOP at 36.34, a limit price, with a stop at 33.19. If we got a deeper pullback, I wanted to add a position at 34.89 using the same stop. For traders, I also like the XLY at 101.29 with a stop at 96.47. I typically don't like to risk more than 5% in a position. Sometimes it's as little as 3%. And then as the market moves in our favor, stops are raised up until there are signs that it should be sold.
Of course, each current position is updated in my reports. Stops are modified when needed. And also, I recommend selling those positions. When conditions warrant, I also recommend inverse ETFs for both investors and traders. Well, I hope I've answered your questions about the Viper ETF report. Viper report is $34.95 a month. Subscriptions are handled through PayPal. So you have total control of your subscription. You can sign up through them. And should you decide to cancel, you can cancel through them online at any time. Reports are generally sent out on Mondays and Thursdays, and once you subscribe, you'll automatically be added to the list and get the next valuable Viper ETF report. I see some great profit opportunities for the rest of 2018 and into 2019. Some of you may recall in 2014, I thought the S&P 500 would rise from 1600 to over 2600. Now I think it can move above 3000, maybe even this year. So I hope you decide to join us. Hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.